once lived a community whose devotion to the goddess Jivana was unfailing. As spring dawned, the ritual to choose a new priestess began. At the altar, the villagers chose Aelis, a teenager whose kindness was matched only by her determination. She was entrusted with the divine power to control water, the source of all life. One day, black clouds gathered in the sky until they formed a colossal vortex. From its center, a dazzling ray of light gushed forth in a deafening roar that shook the earth and the spirits. Afraid of being swept away by this cataclysm, which falls upon their world, the community prepares for exile. Alma, the wise and erudite elder of the village mentions the existence of a sacred cathedral which would have prevented the ancient civilization from the most monstrous calamities. From then on, their path follows the holy way that leads to this building, whose saving virtues awaken the flame of hope in everyone's heart. Come on! The camp can't be far. Smoke? Everett must be preparing dinner. So, Aelis, you find anything useful? A few berry bushes only. All the animals seem to have left a long time ago. Everard, how are the preparations going? Did you put the food crates at the back of the carts? Everything's ready. I'll land the animals with the guys tomorrow at dawn. Concerning the road to take, you've made your choice? We will pass by the gorges in the south. We'll have to check the irons of the mounts before that. What? I've already told you, Alma, there's nothing but rocks to the south. Our trailers won't last long there. I trust you and your men with your abilities. We will take this road. The decision is not yours. Our lives are in your hands, Alma. We've got the right to decide. Just as much as you do. Ever stay calm, please. Telling you again, our carts are too fragile and the cattle are exhausted. The path will slow us and the scourge is still after us. This path was once part of the holy pilgrimage of the cathedral. The goddess will protect us if we take it. Be reassured. I see. I hope the goddess knows the roads as well as I do. I'll leave you now. I have work to do. Grandma, I have a question. Everett and you, you often argue, right? The storm follows us again and again. It has been going on for months now and... Everard and I do not always agree. It is true. He sometimes rages, like the storm. But why not take his advice into consideration? 
Why are you so sure that this is the right road? I understand your fears, but the worst that could happen to us would be that the Scourge would creep into our hearts too. My duty is to remain lucid in difficult moments. Evrod knows it, I'm sure. Elis, you must believe me, this is the safest road. I see. It's just, the more time passes, the harder the journey gets. I know, but the hardest part is behind us now. Day by day, the cathedral is getting closer, and with it, the end of this exhausting journey. Now you should get some rest. The night will be short. I'm going to stay here for a few more minutes. I'll join you later. Already more than six months that we left. I don't see the time passing anymore. The days are similar for sure. The children are getting impatient. It's an ordeal they will have to overcome. Get ready. We're approaching the entrance to the canyon. I'm going to get ready. Everett is going to need me. seems blocked uphill. I'll see what I can do. Wait for me here.
Back on track. Ailis will join us as soon as possible.
Edward, the cart's wheels are wobbling. We should take a break and check the equipment. Not now, Alice. We gotta get through this quagmire in one go. We can't stay here. All right. I'll take care of the back of the convoy. Count on me. Thank you, kiddo. We'll have to continue on till nightfall. We must keep this rhythm. The animals look exhausted, but they should hold a few more hours. Good. Hold on. We'll set up camp when we get out of here. Hey, uh, you did good out there. It was a big deal. Thanks, but it's not over yet. I will get up early tomorrow morning to prepare the departure. Uh, Everett? Ask me your question. I'm not gonna eat you. Why do you and my grandmother fight so often? Don't you trust her? Of course I trust her, but these people... They're all I had. I just didn't agree because I was afraid something would happen to them. But now we're here. We have to go all the way. Alma trusts the goddess, and I trust Alma. And you. I see. This road is not easy for sure, but the others can count on us to help them. Rely on you above all. I was here earlier. <laughs> I simply used the gift that was given to me. I worked a lot to be up to it. Since when did little Alice become so strong? Thanks, Everett. Everybody! We gotta stop again! Grams doors. They prevent the uninitiated from leaving this room. to open them in a hurry. We're almost there. getting heavier.
down! Faster! Go ahead. There's no one left on the side. Aelis, join us as soon as possible. The situation is worse than we thought. We are finally out, thanks to you, Elis. <clears throat> yes, Grandma. It's here, behind those hills. After all these trials, the plague didn't reach our hearts. We've succeeded, Elis. Yes. If only Everard could be here to see it too. Wherever he is, I think Everard is happy to see that we are successful. We made the right choice for our people. Yes, Grandmother. Deep down, Everard only wanted one thing. That we stay alive. Thanks to him and the Goddess, this is still the case today. Definitely. Then let us keep the faith as we've done until now. For him. For us. Here we go. Get ready, all of you.
What is the point of overcoming all these trials? The goddess has finally abandoned us? No, she didn't. Grandmother, they can have a thousand faces. Do not let it take over your heart. But this cathedral was our only hope. Listen to me. We've made it this far. We can go even further. I don't know what to think anymore. You can count on me now. My precious child, you have grown so much. I will settle the camp. We must rest. A long road awaits us. With Everett's death and their hopes dashed, the group was going through a new period of turmoil from which it was even harder to recover. But amidst darkness and despair, a glow glittered brighter and brighter before their eyes, a spark of hope, like a mirage, guided them into the unknown. Ayalis understood the importance of the challenges she would face. Dark days were awaiting them, but she was determined to give her people a bright future. Despite their resilience, the Scorch pursued its relentless destruction. What was its origin? Why was it descending upon this world? It is to these questions that Aelis would try to find answers. <laughs>